Hi, my name is Marion Kalmer. I'm a farmer from Western Illinois, and today we're uh, uh, shooting another video in the series of uh, combine settings for better harvesting. And as time goes by and the more phone calls that I receive, um, my thinking process continues to evolve. I'm 61 years old. This is a 23-year-old machine. Every year I learn something new and I want to pass that information along to you. Also, I'm trying to make this presentation as generic as possible so it applies to red, green, yellow, gray, whatever color machine you might be driving at home. So I'm going to talk about setting the fan, the bottom sieve, and then the top sieve. Um, for me, the easiest way to set the fan is simply to use the grain loss monitor as my gauge and so I will start to increase the air if I see some extra deflection uh, on sieve loss then I'll back it down a little bit. I can also tell you that the lack of air can cause a, a, an enormous amount of sieve loss. Uh, one of the things I do every year is a combine clinic for the local college, uh, bring the, the, the students out, the egg students out here, and my job is to get the combine as far out of adjustment as possible and then let them reset it. The easiest way to put corn on the ground is just simply shut the fan speed back and it'll roll right out the back end of the machine. So I think I learned sometimes more by going to the extremes on adjustments uh, to get it dialed in. So uh, there is a magical uh, inverted bell curve that says too much wind, um, I'm getting grain loss, the right amount of wind, I'm getting very little grain loss, and then too little of wind, and I go back to having. So use the grain loss monitor to help you adjust the fan. This particular machine and the red one that we ran in, in central Nebraska uh, the, the, uh, uh, at Husker Harvest Days, um, I'm running anywhere from 12 to 1300 uh, depending on the moisture of, of the corn. As far as adjusting the sieves on the machine, um, one of the things I, I learned when I was 25, I've used it every year and it's always been a good, good concept. I, uh, I run with the bottom sieve wide open and uh, let the air come on up to the top sieve and I don't see any upside to re-threshing the cob at all. And then I'm going to go in and uh, use the top sieve uh, to clean the, the grain tank and we're, we're looking at trying to take these broken cobs. So the, the, the thing to remember, if a cob gets below the top sieve, you know, we either got to rethresh it or we put it in the tank because it's trapped. It's never going to make it out of that chamber because if it goes back to be rethreshed, it's going to end up smaller and it's going to fall through easier on the second pass and eventually it's ground up, goes in the tank. Also, we hear about uh, problems with uh, grain bin accidents, uh, moldy corn, uh, can't get it to dry, uh, people that are running a cleaner behind the dryer, uh, and uh, we, we need to step it up here on, on quality. Um, we're exporting grain. It's important now with low prices um, to have a good, a good quality product, and uh, I, I just don't see it at all. Uh, anything about closing the bottom sieve, uh, it makes no sense. I don't want to rethresh the kernel. I certainly don't want to rethresh the cob. So pull the bottom one wide open. Now the other thing is we talk about is on the top sieve, it has multiple areas. Uh, the front, the middle, and the back. Uh, this machine has that. Some combines have a pre-sieve. I don't understand that concept either. You know, we're either going to clean the grain or we're not. Uh, so w the pre-sieve doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So the size of this cob here doesn't change from the front to the middle to the back. Therefore, my adjustment in the front is going to be the same as it is in the middle and in the back. Now, it's difficult to be able to reach the front end of the combine from the back. So this year, I came up with a new gauge, and it's, it's pretty simple, and it's just simply a piece of 3 8 all-thread rod, about three foot long. I can now stand at the back of the combine, and I can reach up here, and I can check the air gap between the louvers on my deep tooth chaffer. So kind of a new idea. Uh, give it some thought. Maybe it'll help you out uh, when you're setting the machine. Uh, of course, uh, that, that air gap on the top sieve here is going to change depending on the level of uh, moisture and uh, the uh, amount of leaves and husks and stalks that are going through the machine. So with that, I, I hope you've picked up a few new ideas. I always enjoy the phone calls. Um, Feel free to call me on my cell phone at 
1182. And if I'm busy, leave me a message. Send me a text message. I, I love those as well. I keep it on seven days a week right now because everybody's uh, pretty busy. Also, uh, visit our website uh, for more information on combine settings uh, for better harvesting. And that web address is calmercornheads.com. With that, uh, thanks for taking time to watch the video. I hope you picked up some interesting ideas, if nothing else, maybe a little more thinking on uh, the importance of uh, setting the sieves. So we hope that you have a safe, profitable, and enjoyable harvest season.